to our souls. In order to channel, we must learn to unify with the stream of consciousness, because that is what the channeling process entails. It is only by releasing the grip of your own brain over everything that you are perceiving and want to be thinking that you can learn how to become the flow of information that is coming through you. And interestingly enough, you may start to feel that intuition is always there. You always have the ability to tap into the answers and the solutions you are seeking when you stop trying to look for them externally to you. You have the intrinsic ability to find everything that you are seeking because the entire universal database is at your fingertips, so to speak. By becoming the antenna, you can tune your radio station of your brain to the channel that allows you to access higher consciousness. And it is by doing this act of surrendering that you can get there. Now, why is it so difficult to surrender? Because many of us do not realize the immense power that we have. The power that we have to think outside the box and to access the answers we are seeking simply by letting go of everything that is keeping us away from them. The resistance that our mind creates is immense. We're constantly filtering through reality based on our fears, conditioning biases, opinions of other people, self-judgment, and all kinds of inner criticism that prevents us from realizing we have the ability to know everything that we need to in order to move forward in alignment with our higher self. In fact, our higher self is always guiding our journey. Through every intuitive hit that we receive, there is inner guidance to be recognized. Through every soft whisper of our heart and our gut, through every instinctual pull and through every little urge and desire that we get, there is an intuitive meaning behind that. But do we listen to it? More often than not, the answer is no. Our brain has this desire to constantly be in control and to have a grip over everything and everyone because it's looking at things through its fixed perspective. But what happens when we let go of this desire to constantly look at things in our own way? and we just become the witness of this entire experience. All of a sudden, you have this infinite ability to readjust and realign. You can become the perspective of anyone or anything if you choose to drop into the state of the observer of consciousness and you start empathizing with the perspectives of other people. You can actually start channeling the insight of other great minds, of different people, of animals, of nature, of all kinds of different elements by tuning into their consciousness, which you can actively do. There is great wisdom to be found in empathizing with anyone or anything else outside of you. And what that requires is embodying the state of the no mind, choosing to not be yourself, your ego, and your fixed position on everyone and everything around you, but to just let go and to perceive in a different way. Through that, you can truly discover the definition of oneness. And when we can come to appreciate unity consciousness and the power of seeing things through another perspective, channeling becomes a breeze. Because when you understand that your mind is just a limited system allowing you to respond to events based on your own conditioning, your own programming, and your own fears, which you try to mitigate through always trying to think and observe and react in a particular way, you can drop into the state of just allowing the differences to emanate in your world. The different perspectives, the different thoughts, the different viewpoints, and allow yourself to be more fluidly aligned with the new reality in which you are flowing in tandem with your higher self. So how can we connect to our higher self? Well, I want you to realize that the higher self is always connected to you. You can always communicate with your higher self, and it's always communicating with you. You may just not realize it. Very often, the first reaction that we get in any given situation is the soft cry of our intuition telling us that something is either aligned with us or not. If you feel like you are in resistance to a particular thing or situation, there is a reason why the resistance is present. In fact, every feeling that we have is important and it's meant to be there. But we need to analyze from the place of that observer of consciousness in order to understand why that feeling is present. 